To make a dining reservation, first click on Dining Reservations and then Dining Reservations in the top left corner. This will open up your reservation screen. You have three ways to view this reservation screen, by time, by layout, or by table. Time shows you every available time for every available table. Layout shows you your table layout that you've previously built, and if you click on one of those tables, it will show you the available times and also information about any reservations that are already there. And table shows you every table that's available with a column for each available time. So this can let you see the flow of the day or the timeline of the day of your reservations. You can also further filter this by facility, by meal period, by available time, by party size, by table type, table attribute, or the status of so whether or not they are reserved. To make a dining reservation, just double click on the time or the table that you'd like to make the reservation for and it will open up your reservation screen. First choose your facility, then choose your meal period, then your reservation date. These things should already be selected as you've chosen the table as you came into this reservation screen, so you can put in the party size as well as the length of the reservation and you have the option to include an occasion, so why the member is coming to dine, and a reservation source, how they made that reservation. This section is where you put in the member or the guest that has made the reservation. You can key in the member number or use the three little dots to pull up a list of all members and choose the member that you want. You can also add a secondary or third member and guest to this reservation. Each person that has their name listed here will have a chit opened for them when you go ahead and seat this reservation. So you could have multiple chits per table. You can key in a reservation note, so a simple request or a simple reminder to your staff. And over on this side is where you can see the table that they're assigned to. You have the ability to choose multiple tables on a reservation. So for example, a party size of seven might actually need a bigger table that I might have to push together two smaller tables. So I can choose my two four top tables here and both of those will be reserved. The client info and preferences tab will show you for the member that's selected information about their contact, their address, as well as any dining preferences they might have. These dining preferences tie into the membership database so they can be maintained in either system and updated here in real time. The Client Reservations tab will show you more reservations that this member has available. The log will show you an edit log, so any changes or cancellations that people are making to this reservation at your club. And reminders will show you the schedule of email reminders that will go out when this reservation is made, changed, or canceled. Save and Close saves your reservation and closes the screen. Save and copy will save this reservation and copy it to another day.